favourite musical studio equipment. I've got a combination of um, the way I work is is a combination of analog and digital gear. I use Pro Tools um, because Pro Tools um, suits my purposes. So I've got a big SSL desk. I've got a forty eight channel SSL desk that. Um, was once Tony Visconti's. It's an E-series desk. It's a great uh, piece of equipment, and and I like to create the music uh, using this desk as an instrument. Almost, um, I've got another desk as well that was made by Connie Plank, who produced the first four Kraftwerk albums, and he made this desk um, and uh, uh, by himself. Uh, well, actually, sorry, with two other German people in the seventies and eighties, and he, uh, um, you know, he he always used to say that the mixing. Desk Desk was an instrument. It was an in integral part of the music making process um, because a lot of the the, the, the musical and uh, you know the soundscapes and all the things he made he made using the mixing desk and not using an instrument if you know what I mean a traditional instrument. But I I find that um, you know for, uh, so many people just work in the box now and and you know that has become the norm for me. I've always enjoyed the hands-on, and it's not just the sound of it and the sound of the synthesizers and the sound of the outboard compression and everything. It's the hands-on approach. Um, creatively, uh, I feel I arrive at a different place than when I'm just doing it all inside the computer. So if I'm actually got two hands free, or even another person or another person just all playing around. I mean, I did uh, a good example was a track called Flutes by Hot Chip. I did an album by Hot Chip called In Our Heads, which, and there's a track called Flutes, which is basically, I've got a video of it. It's basically me, Joe Goddard, Alexis, and Owen, the three guys out of the band plus me, on the desk. Um, live panning and EQing like several different synth sounds that made the the main synth stab all the way through the track and the track's about five or six minutes you know and that sort of thing you, that sort of like group involvement in making music you just can't do with one bloke and a computer and then three band members sitting on the sofa at the back of the room staring at the back of his head you know that's 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 um, one advantage to having all lots of bits of kit around the studio so years and years we do that and to a degree clean band it and you know we, we um, if people want to all play things at the same time and try things out then they've got if you've got lots of bits of gear then you've got the ability to be able to do that um, Whereas purely in the box, it's literally all on one person with other people offering their opinion, but not necessarily being able to get creatively, physically, creatively involved in the process, you know. So, so to be honest, for me, a good hybrid combination of analog bits of hardware and the computer and the, all of the, 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 you know, the more modern production techniques uh, it gives me the best of both worlds. And when, when I mix, for example, I mix on the desk, then I get it to about 80% and I stem every single channel. So I get 48 snapshots of every track on the desk um, that my engineer puts down. And then I mix the rest of it in the box. So I do the last 20, 30% in the box. So I've got the recallability, but I've got the sound of it when it was split out. And when it was split out, I prefer the clarity and the separation and I make judgments based on what I'm hearing as a as a as a you know something that's summed in the ele electrical field and not something that's summed by software, you know by a, by a sort of emulation of of a summing mixer in inside the computer. But then obviously the final bit is that. But I've already made those decisions and I've already committed to those things um, in the analog analog phase. So that's uh, that's my method anyway. And I, so gear is extremely important to me, and I, I like using a good combination of. Um, old and old and new equipment and I've got a lot of it unfortunately <laughs>